Hey, fellas and lady fellas, Roy coming at you. I just got to tell you, yesterday was the worst day of my life. Well, at least one of them, anyhow. Well, see what happened was, got up, lower my back was stiff. Oh, it took me about six minutes to get out of bed. I'd have to roll and push and grunt and everything. Finally stood up straight, and when I stood up straight, shh, Lord have mercy, my back started falling. It sounded like bubble wrap. Well, anyhow, got up, talked to a buddy, and he said, why don't you go down here at the gym and work out a little bit, Roy? He said, that'll help you loosen up some of them muscles and stuff. I said, yeah, I'll try that. So I go down there at the gym. Well, I'm down there lifting weights and stuff. And, uh, I'm there for a good 45 minutes, maybe longer. Boy, my muscles is tired, and I'm pouring a sweat. Next thing I know, this big old dude comes over there and puts his hand on my shoulder. He said, hey, Roy. I said, yes, sir. What can I do you for he said, uh, not trying to be nosy or nothing, but did you plan on putting any weights on that bar? <laughs> he said, come on over here to the weight bench. I said, all right. So we went over at the weight bench. And he said, I tell you what, Roy. He said, uh, go over there and pick you out some weights and put on as much as you think you can lift. I said, all right. I overdone it. Just a little bit. Well, let's just say... Push it up and it comes slamming right down on me and I'm sort of like, oh, oh, oh. Well, he starts laughing. And here he is, about six foot nine ninety-nine, and about two hundred and twenty pounds, and he just pure muscle. I mean just solid rock. Well, he reaches and grabs them things and just slangs them straight up. So hard the the weight sticks in the ceiling. Stuff's falling down and stuff. He's sitting there laughing, and I was like, ha ha, ha Mr. Funny Man. How you plan on getting me down from here? Because I forgot to let go. Well, he finally got me down. He said, Roy, if you're going to exercise, you need some better clothes. Some proper, you know, stuff that'll breathe good. And he said, what size you are? And I said, I size shoestring, funny man. And I walked out. Well, I was aggravating. and I was walking home. Next thing I know, I'm hearing, Help! Help! Just looking around. And I spot somebody else in over by a trailer. I walk over and I said, what can I do for you? He said, I've locked my keys in the house. And I said, well, I've done that, but uh, how, how can I help you? He said, well, you see that window right up there? It's about a good six and a half foot off the ground. I said, yeah. He said, well, that window's unlocked. I said, oh, really? He said, yep. He said, now, if I cut my hands and you put your foot in my hands, I can boost you up there. You go through another door, I can get in. That way I can go on to work. I said, well... Why don't I boost you up there? He said, you don't weigh that much, do you? I said, no. He said, I weigh close to 200 pounds. I said, all right, you boost me up. So he boosted me up there, and I finally get the doors. And then keep in mind, now, I've never been there before. Now, I finally get the window up there so I can get wiggle my way in there. I get my head, my arms, and just a little bit of my chest in there. And I hear something. And I look up. And about this far away from me is three pit bulls, a bull mastiff, and a rottweiler. Let's just say he didn't go to work. Because I come out of there so fast that I left my shirt staying there. And it was still in the shape of me. So from now on, if you got dogs, if you got weights you want lifted, you just can't overall out of it.